Hey everyone, this is Minion, and today's video is about Town Hall 11, and I have four special attacks for you that are two of them being ground attacks and two of them being air attacks. We have Reeves with a Queen Walk Bowler Smash, Shine Bee with a Go Bow Pee Wee, Metal Finger E Drag Bat, and Life Surfer with a Blimp Drag Bat. But first, let's start off here with Reeves. And he is doing a Queen Walk Bowler Smash starting at 3 o'clock with a Baby Dragon and Minion. The Queen Walk, a couple, um, a loon for Coconut Loon to clear out any types of air traps. And um, nice Rage for the Queen and the Healers, healing her up nicely, coming into the heat um, from the main part of this base. He's going to start funneling in from 12 o'clock with... Um, Looks like a uh, P.E.K.K.A, some witches and some bowlers. He's got the wall wrecker coming in with some bowlers behind. Inside the wall wrecker are more bowlers. And uh, the nice thing about this this base or this attack is is base recognition. Had Reeves come in from the other side, you notice there's a two space gap between the walls and those buildings inside that first layer. Um, those bowlers might have walked on him. Instead, he comes in on the side that's easiest to funnel. He's smashing through the base, um, taking care of this pretty easily. I mean, this is um, not a uh, completely max base, yet um, it is definitely upgraded, and he's doing a fine job. Um, this is just really good um, army comp and base recognition. Um, the buildings were nice and tight. It made excellent value for a bowler bounce. He's getting great value out of the healers. Um, everything is going well, and he has little MVP minions going on there at uh, at about five o'clock. So, um, so good job, Reeves. The next hit's going to be by Shinebee, and Shinebee is doing a um, I'm going to call it a Go Bow Pee Wee. He's got Golem. So he's got a stone cold golem. I take that back. He's got a cold blooded golem. He has bowlers. He has um, one Pekka of his own, one Pekka in the wall wrecker, and um, and also witches. So um, so Shine Bees has a little bit of an atypical army, but it does a great job smashing a, a decently upgraded Town Hall 11 base. So good job, Reeves, there. And here we go on to Shine Bee. So Shine Bee is working with a baby dragon to help with the funneling. And the idea would be to clear out all that trash um, over there at 3 o'clock and utilize those moats um, to help keep his troops together. Um, I think he was feeling like um, it was going to be too much work to get a true funnel. So he's going to hope that his um, skeletons go over there and help him out. Um, everything is coming in. As you can see, very nicely behind the wall wrecker. And uh, he has got the poison down for the clan castle. And he's pretty well smashing the base. This is a, if you, if you look at the design of this base, um, utilizing those moats, um, the enemy put a Tesla in there. Um, that makes it a little easier for your troops, keeps them kind of distracted and, and, and well, I shouldn't say distracted, more so focused um, and, and clumped together. Um, and uh, he did a great job throwing that heel down there where that moat was. Um, you know, it's a pretty common thing to have um, have your giant bombs there in those moats. Um, but but Shinebe does a great job. And uh, his heroes stayed together nicely. Um, they're over there working um, just off of um, in the first compartment there by 3 o'clock. And they're going to break through the wall, and they're going to join up with the king. And the uh, king, unfortunately, doesn't make it. But uh, but here they go. We've got um, loads of troops up. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to take a lot of damage. Um, just look at how many um, hit points a max P.E.K.K.A. has. Skeletons are helping bust through the wall and, uh, and distract. And uh, there goes the first of those two expos and uh, you'll get the second one here in no time. Queen is on the outside helping clear some of the outside trash and take care of those defenses that she can reach. And if you look he has uh, just a few defenses left. Unfortunately the warden goes down to the single set inferno 
yet um, as those other troops break through, skeletons are going to be a little bit of a distraction as the, the single set in front of them locks on to the queen. Uh, skeletons, Pekka and Bowler are going to go through the wall and, uh, and take care of that Inferno and Wizard Tower in no time. The next hit is by Metal Fingers, and uh, this also is a fabulous job of base recognition. Take a look at this base here. If we take a peek here, we notice the wizard towers are all pretty much on the perimeter. So he uses a few coconut loons to clear to see if there's any any uh, traps, any sams that are going to take out his e-drag. This base would be um, almost what you would consider a four square base or an island base. Um, it seems like it's been modified maybe to try and make it stronger. Um, but if you if you look at the way he's attacking this base, he's doing it um, like you would do an island base. Um, he uses the slammer, and that helps open up the wall compartments for his royals. And uh, because he's doing a bat attack, he's going to try and take care of that multi-set inferno, especially since it's not close to any wizard towers and, and offers very low value for his uh, for a freeze if he should decide to use a freeze. So the royals are continuing around in a clockwise motion. Um, behind that is the troops that came out of the slammer. There was an ice golem in the enemy clan castle, froze up his troops, and uh, unfortunately it, it did do quite a bit of damage, but, uh, but Metal Fingers uh, did a fine job weighing it out. And if you look, take a look, he's got one whole quadrant taken care of. That makes for really nice funneling and pathing of his other troops. He's just simply going to work around this base clockwise. Um, as you notice on the back side, that's where he has his bat bomb going off. Um, he noticed great value for the bats over there, so he wasn't too worried about the uh, the eagle artillery going off when he when he got up to the 180 troop level. Um, and you can see how deadly the the wizard towers are to the bats, as as this wizard tower just takes care of, of almost all of those bats, but he has so many e-drags up that, that he's going to continue on and level this base. One thing that was neat that Metal Fingers did that uh, you notice um, some players do is he went ahead and put the bat bomb down before he put the, uh, the freeze down, um, partially because this is a Town Hall 11 base, but um, but you will, you will notice with the with the nerf that they had, that Supercell brought in for the bat spell, it delays the um, the spawning of the bats. And so, if you can be pretty quick with your spells, you can lay the bat spell down first, and then get the freeze down, and um, and get better value for those spells. It's it's all de depends on on your particular preference and your timing. Um, Metal Fingers decided that that was worth his his while. Okay, now the next hit is going to be by Life Surfer as as uh, Metal Fingers is cleaning up here. This also is an amazing job at base recognition. He gets unbelievable value for his bats. If you take a look at this, all of the wizard towers are stacked together on one side of the base. All of the ADs are stacked on the other. So um, he is working in here from 6 o'clock. It's kind of hard to see, but he has an E-Dragon down that's creating the funnel there at, at 6. And uh, let's just let him see he's bouncing that chain lightning off of those big storages. That's another thing that they have in, in this base. It's kind of, it's, um, it didn't really factor in E-drags and how well they can bounce chain lightning off. Um, but all these big storages, the idea is to slow down the troops, um, which most of the time, you know, works. If this was a wall wrecker attack, that would, that would definitely slow things down. Um, but uh, Life Surfer, Surfer takes his time here and he uses his queen and his king. His king is a tank and his queen to reach over the wall to help set this funnel. We've got regular dragons coming in with uh, balloons coming behind and they will, balloons will pass up the dragons as the dragons are, are attracted to, to all buildings and the loons are only attracted to defense. He uses a blimp and uh, the nice thing here is he pops his blimp on purpose right on top of that eagle artillery to take care of the eagle artillery and here comes the bat bomb he has the rage down bat bomb on top of that it's going to overwhelm all of those defenses there and I, 
I am not certain as to whether Life Surfer had decided, well, if my dragons uh, fade to the right, I'm going to put the bat bomb off to the left or it, you know, go opposite his troops. Um, he may have planned for that in the beginning. Um, the base in the middle had kind of a dead core. It had um, the, if you see that the town hall location, the clan castle location is, is got a kind of a dead spot. So the troops are going to fade one way or the other. And I'm going to bet that he decided to put the bat bomb opposite the direction of the, of the dragons, but great hit life surfer and kudos to our town hall 11s. And thank you everybody for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.